Got another question on the enthalpy and entropy topic. So this one focuses on entropy. Link to the questions in the description if you wanted to try it first. Okay, so the first part of the question, we've got to show that the formation of ammonia via this equation is feasible at room temperature 25 degrees C. So we're going to use the Gibbs equation and we're going to calculate delta G for this temperature. And if it's zero or less than zero, i.e. negative, the reaction's feasible at that temperature. Okay, so the first thing we've got to do is calculate the entropy change for the reaction. So delta S is the entropies of the products minus the reactants. And that comes out at minus 200 joules per Kelvin per mole. So putting the numbers in, I'm getting delta G equals minus 92 minus 298 Kelvin. Remember, temperature's got to be in Kelvin for this times minus 0.2. So I've switched the delta S from joules per Kelvin per mole into kilojoules per Kelvin per mole so that we've got kilojoules in both of those units. So I'm getting minus 32.4 kilojoules per mole. You could have switched the enthalpy change up to joules per mole and that would have given you an answer of minus 32,400 joules per mole. The significant thing here is the fact that this is negative and therefore the reaction's feasible at that temperature. And the next part, explain in terms of entropy why the reaction's not feasible at very high temperatures. So it all boils down to the fact that at high temperatures, this minus T delta S term is going to become greater than the delta H term. So if you think about the signs as well at play here, we've got minus T delta S. It's, delta S is negative, so this all becomes positive. So you combine in this negative delta H with a big positive T delta S term, which ultimately makes delta G positive, and therefore the reaction is no longer feasible. And the final part of the question, feasibility calculations don't take the kinetics or the rate of the reaction into account. So you could say something like the rate of reaction is too slow or the activation energy is too high. And that's why they have to bump the temperature up to that 400 to 500 degrees C.